4.9 thousand views. And we waited this long to make an update video on the eighteen hundred dollar Miata. I don't people know how really I got that. People care that views. much. People, about the Miata people care this much. I about thought it had like twenty views or something. People care about this car. Uh, it looks a little different. It sounds a little different, and it drives a little different. You bought this car in was it June? June. 17th. Oh, 17th. I think yeah. June 17th yeah. of 2018, and it is now September of 2019. So it's been over a year since you bought the car, and we've made two videos on it because uh, <laughs> I'm really lazy. Yeah. Let's start with the exterior. What's new on the exterior? Uh, obviously the wheels. Yeah, we got new wheels and tires. Yeah, believe it or not, this is the second set of aftermarket wheels I've had on the car. These are. Uh, they're called JRW Series 500. Um, they're 15 by 8 with uh, an ET25, I think. Uh, they look pretty damn good. Yeah. Bridgestone Potenza RE71Rs, 205 5015. What else for exterior? Uh, the headlights. Yeah, we got the Jeep LED headlights. Yeah, Amazon Jeep headlights for, I think, $62 the two. Here. They're really bright. I'm going to turn them on. Yeah. Very bright. I mean, you can't really tell with the camera because oh, it's just going to... I don't know if it's going to show. Yeah, I mean, the brights go all the way onto that building over there. Yeah. So, yeah, they're pretty bright. They definitely improve nighttime drivability because yeah. when you're when you're taking this thing for a nice little rip... Oh, yeah. You need to be able to see what you're doing. Yeah, it's crucial. Um, What else we got? The roll bar. Yeah, the roll bar. I actually did that month ago I think about a, something like that oh, a little over a month ago uh, it's a hard dog m2 hardcore double diagonal uh, yeah <laughs> this is probably That's my favorite hardcore. aesthetic change to the car because it just looks a lot more like for lack of a better term masculine <laughs> yeah well and it's kind of required not really but yeah, no, I mean, if, if I had a Miata, I would definitely prioritize yeah. that. Uh, oh, your exhaust. Oh, yeah. It's got a center poop shooter. <laughs> yeah, it's, it uh, it's a little, eh, it's a little janky, but. But yeah, yeah so you got this cool. custom Super JDM center exhaust on this. Exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got the wheels, tires, headlights. That's all different. Roll they, bar. Yeah, and they know about the spec Miata or the the suspension. I think. Oh yeah, no, it's got spec Miata suspension on it, which is now outdated. They changed to over to a different suspension setup. I don't remember exactly what it is, but these are the Bilsteins with Ibex, Ibach, whatever you want to call it. It's also it. pretty outdated because it squeaks. Those are the bushings <laughs> that are bad, <laughs> which I'll have to do. A set of poly bushings or two. Well, someone's ripping. <laughs> But yeah, a set of poly bushings are like 200 and some dollars. Yeah. And a lot of time. A lot of time. Let's yeah. talk about the interior, since you did modify it for some yeah. nice comfort <laughs> and luxury. Yeah. I mean, you can see there's... You've got the nice premium leather door card. And that's about it, because you removed the interior. Uh, I removed it. Every, I'm trying to think, yeah. I've removed every single piece of sound deadening from the inside of the car. All the carpet, the only carpet is on the back shelf there by the tank, but I wanted that covered because it kind of looks weird without it. Um, yeah. To get the full carpet out, you're supposed to remove the dash. Um, so there is carpet underneath the, the center section of the dash there that I just kind of cut out because I don't want to go through the hassle of taking the whole dash out. But one thing that we noticed yesterday was that the gutting didn't make the interior much louder at all. No, it seems to. The only thing is, like, you'll hear some rocks if you ever drive over any of them. But besides that, there's really no difference. So I think besides that, the only other update, because you didn't change the steering wheel yet. You got this, but the OEM shifter which is what was there before, but this is a rebuild. Yeah, uh, that's a rebuild kit from 5X Racing. It's just, it's all OEM. I didn't opt for the, uh, whatever the, the, I forgot what it's called. There's some other upgraded bushing that you can get for the shifter that I just didn't want to, it was 30 some dollars and I just didn't see it being needed 
I guess. I don't think that's worth it either. Like this feels really good though. Obviously, you can't tell the difference. You can't tell the difference on video, but after driving the car, that is probably my favorite modification that's been done in the past year. <laughs> yeah, well, it's been a little bit more than that, but someone's ripping. It's a V6 Camaro. It's a V6 Camaro. In this. Yeah, I wish we could make fun of V6 Camaros, but we're dealing with about four horsepower. We're dealing with a little bit more than four horsepower. Nothing special. All right, do me a favor, pop the hood, and I, I just tried. There we go. Let's just let's just talk for a little about. The only thing that I thought of is there's no hood prop because weight reduction. Right. Um, so we can just hold it. All right. Um. <laughs> I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start either. Yeah, so what we didn't know about the $1,800 Miata was there was a reason it was $1,800. Uh, the head, I don't know what specifically was the problem, but um, I was burning through coolant like crazy. Um, so I didn't really know what the issue was. I thought maybe it was leaking. Um, and then there was just some, the car felt really slow. It's a Miata, so I just figured, well, it's a Miata, so it's fine that it's slow. Um, but later on, I ended up finding out that the car um, was low on, comp yeah, I mean, it was low on compression, but I wasn't sure if it was the bottom end or the head, which it could have been the valves, could have been burnt or bent or whatever. So I ended up just taking the, the risk and buying a new head to hope that that was the cause. Um, it was. I think the. I believe I burnt the valves um, because I did some. I changed the head gasket because that was also leaking, um, and that was part of the reason it was eating through a bunch of coolant. So I replaced the head. Um, compression was back to. I, I, I haven't checked the compression. I really don't want to check the compression, but the car. When it's driving, I have some idle issues here and there that I'm trying to work out, but driving around, the car is amazing, I think. It's, yeah, no, it's a fun. lot faster than any other stock Miatas, which is a little weird to me, <laughs> considering the only modification to the motor or this hot air intake and that header. Very um, performance-oriented decisions. Yeah, that, but yeah, guys, basically the important thing here is this car was $1,800, but uh, it uh, was $1,800 because <laughs> a lot more than $1,800 were necessary to make it work right. Yeah. But the good news is it's working. For now. Until the bottom end decides that it wants to let go and then... Uh, yeah. And then we're really, really cooking. Yeah, and then it gets a built bottom end. From a Nissan and, uh, and an Asian supercharger from <laughs> eBay for two to five hundred dollars. <laughs> Maybe it'll happen. Maybe. Yeah. Probably not. But um, but yeah, basically this car is pretty set up for just really really fun street driving and track too. Oh, there's brakes. We didn't talk about the brakes. You got brakes. What kind of brakes you got? <laughs> I don't know if I can if I remember. I don't either, uh, but they're better. <laughs> oh, they're DBA rotors. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, the DBC green stuff pads, which I'll, I'm gonna upgrade up to the uh, yellow stuff pads for next season. Yeah. Um, I tracked on these rotors and pads only once, but I've it, the entire ownership, as soon as I got the car, this was the first thing I did. Um, I haven't had the replacement. The pads have a lot of life left in them. So these green stuff pads really last a while. Considering they're actually the, I believe they're the softest um, pad that you can get from DBA. But, I mean, the car weighs like 2,000 pounds. Yeah, no, it stops so. on a dime. I have not been in a car that stops faster than this. Yeah. Just because it's so lightweight and these brakes bite really hard when you dig in the pedal. Yeah, I mean, the tires help a lot, too. Yeah. So RE71Rs. Good tires. This thing just grips. You can huck it into a corner at really, really high speed and it won't have a problem with it. Yeah. As you might expect from a track setup Miata. Yeah, unless it's cold. But yeah. But, um... But, yeah, so that's what's going on with the car. 
Uh, I hope that <laughs> the the handful of commenters who actually wanted to see an update on this are, are happy with it. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I really don't know if I can promise more videos with it because I'm lazy. But we should... And even if we do, it's gonna be a while because we're going into... I mean, we're in September now. Yeah, but we Get should we should months. try and knock out like an exhaust video or maybe like a POV drive or something sometime soon. Yeah, we'll do that. But, um, but yeah, basically... The moral of the story is if you want a cheap Miata, just buy the better one <laughs> that's not cheap. Yeah. I mean, I mean, if you're looking for a Miata that's cheap, you're going to get a, a cheap car. You're getting what you paid for. Yeah. I learned my lesson on that one. But if you want something that's cheap that you can sit there and tinker with and learn how to work on a car, this is a good car to do it because I had no idea what I was doing at all. You've definitely learned a lot in yeah. the past year of owning this. But, um, I mean, there's stuff that I, I won't do, but that's very little. Yeah. So. Well, you heard it here first. Miata is always the answer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Catch you in the next one, if I ever make one. What's up, boys? <laughs> Hearing these melodies, melodies.